I receive the ball, the defender comes, and I have to make a move here, uh -huh. and then I hit. Not there, not there, more to the corner. You want to save that. Yeah. <laughs> Every time, every time I just walk on the pitch here, there's so many memories, you know, yeah. and I, I, still, I still get goosebumps. I walk around and I just look at the, uh, at the stadium. Obviously, it looks a lot different now. Yeah. Than, than, the ring than, of fire, I, I mean, I can just see it when you, whenever you're here, you know, like every time in training, the passion just comes out. I love it. When I close my eyes, I can just go back to that, to that one day in uh, April 4th in 98, obviously the, uh, you know, opening game for us here against Tampa Bay. Yeah. Uh, we had played a week before against uh, Miami. We had won that game, and there was such a build, big excitement, you know, yeah, for, yeah. for soccer to be back in the city. All you weren't Chicago. even born, so I, I couldn't know. even ask you how you felt <laughs> at that time. I know that you'll be playing in much bigger yeah. stadiums, but never forget what the club, you yeah. know, uh, means yeah, to you. Why. And uh, for sure. I love the club. I would do any, anything for the club. It's a great future with everything that's happening. You know, I see what's going on with you and with our, our other homegrown players, and that's why I feel great because there is a pathway now. There is sure. opportunity for younger kids to fulfill their dreams. Yeah. To see, like you're saying, like me, Guti, Javi, you know, have success, like and be able to play at Soldier Field, like it only motivates the kids at the academy, and you know, even walking sometimes, like, and I'll go to the park where I used to play. Like I'll have kids come up and you know yeah. just ask for a picture or something. Like it only. It shows them that they could do it too, you know. I literally grew up where they're where they're playing right now, so I think that, you know, watching us play is only is only motivation for them. And I think just like I said, every day in training, like you have that passion and everything. I think that that's what we need to continue in the in the Chicago soccer area. Yeah. How how is that feeling to you now when you go and people just recognize you everywhere? It's, 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 you know? It doesn't feel real. It yeah. doesn't feel real, you know, because I don't see myself as you know big big person here in Chicago. I just feel like I'm a regular still feel like a regular kid, you know, so when people ask me for pictures, it's, a, it's still a little bit odd, yeah. you know. You know who scored the two goals that game or no? Which game? The opening? In 98, yeah. I, got, I gotta give you some trivia questions. Who do you think scored them? Who do you think scored the goals? You, huh? Yeah, in 98. Uh, beautiful. Uh, 98. <laughs> and I remember both goals came really late. Uh -huh. One in the 43rd minute in the first half, they threw, they, they threw it in, Peter received it, he switched. Yeah. And then we were going down, he was going down on the right side. And I just, I happened to go in the box and I was just following the play. And then I was like to the left and I made a run inside. And I basically, as we were coming here, we can relive it here now. I took a touch, the defender game, I just put it to the right side and I hit the bottom left goal. corners I'm facing. Ravelli, I can't, the, the, my right knee is not the same now. Let's but it was it, basically, huh? he came down. I'm there right now, I'm there switch, right now. Switch, throw in, switch. Okay. He's coming down, I'm, I'm to the outside. I receive the ball, the defender comes, and I can make a move here, uh -huh. and then I hit. Not there, not there, more to the corner. To the corner, You want to huh? save that. But listen, if you were the goal, you wouldn't have scored. So yeah. I'm glad you're with us. <laughs> and 40,000 people went crazy, huh? Yeah, I mean, besides, it's not the goals, it's just a victory, but having, being here, man, and the excitement yeah. of the fans, just to have, uh, you know, the sport back in our city, yeah. uh, and just to see, you know, where we are now, and yeah. we were back in 98, and to see the changes, the positive changes with the team, to see our homegrown guys, and to see you, you know, yeah. 18 years old, yeah. and now you're off to Europe. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't be no, more proud of you, man. Yeah. Never forget where you started here, of huh? Of course, always, always, always. Yeah, no, when I made my debut, like, I felt yeah, like... how did you feel going into that, knowing that... Yeah, you know? I mean, I was, I felt prepared. I felt, I felt confident because I felt like throughout the entire year I had been preparing, you know, I always wanted to be ready for the moment. You know, I was just, was confident in my preparation and, you know, obviously walking out for the first time at Soldier Field, it was, it was an incredible feeling. Like, it was historic for me. It's, it's something I'll never forget, August 4th. You know, it's, it's a date that'll stay with me in my head forever and it was such an unbelievable feeling and, you know, I kept a clean sheet my first game, so it was even better. It was, it was one of the best nights of my life. Your growth and development and the way you carry yourself, you have such a bright future. Thank you. And I'm extremely proud, no matter where you are. I mean, obviously we're gonna, we're gonna miss you here. When people look at your age, you know, yeah. I mean, you know, and, and, and see someone starting at your age, I mean, it's, 
everyone around the world is going to take notice and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So your ability to handle that kind of pressure for you, it's all in, in the preparation in the week. So you sure. feel that gives you the confidence yeah. going into the matches. Yeah, and I've, I've taken that from you because I know you said that as well. If you, if you do everything right off the field and on the field, like there's no, there's no room of doubt. Yeah. You know, you come on the field and you're able to play free because you know you've done everything you can to prepare. No matter if you have a good game or a bad game, you know that, you know that that was supposed to happen. I savor these moments. You know, I know that, you know, I'm not going to be playing forever. So every time I step on the field, I want to have the most fun. I want to have, you know, play with the most passion because you're, you're it's important in the now. to me. Enjoy yeah, the exactly. Moment. I love enjoy the moment. I love to enjoy the moment. Every game. I mean, the feeling, like you said, the goosebumps when, when I make a good save and I hear the crowd cheer. Oh my God, it's it's unbelievable. It's it's the best feeling in the world. So. Just, just listening to you, you're making me. I, I miss, I miss, I miss playing. I wish I could yeah. still play. No, it's, you know, it's, I wish I could incredible. still play. But we'll be following you, man. But you always have your your fire jersey inside, wherever, whatever other jersey you put. Always, always. Never forget where uh, always your home is. For sure. You know?